you know, I mean, he's definitely insecure. You know, he has some fear issues. Um, <clears throat> So what kind of work have you been doing? Well, you know, just been doing the normal. The first thing I wanted to do was really train him and be like, it's kind of, everyone's like, oh, it's kind of course, you need to be people aggressive, you need to be dominant and alpha. And I wanted to do that. And the second I took him outside, he just folds up. And then we'd have to take our cell phones and call each other and be like, the dog's on the corner of such and such, can you come help me get him? And I had to bring Ilsa and my girl dog down, and then he'd walk back up because he's more secure and further. Mm -hmm. um, you know? just been doing basic obedience. He sits, he stays, we make him wait before he goes in and out of doorways because he does like the whole lunge, trying to stop him from lunging. What do you mean? Yeah, like He'll the try elevator. to charge out to yeah. the door and stuff like that, so we just, we've been training him not to do that. Impulse. So you mean to go out first? Yep. Yeah. Okay. You mean like to go outside? But it's not even like a yeah, dominance exactly. thing, it's like a, I need to go out and I need to check. Like I need to look and make sure nobody's coming in. So how have you been stopping him from doing that? That's a that's a very interesting thing. So what do you do? We make him stop and wait. And he needs to look and like focus on us, and he needs to wait for us to say okay, and then he steps out. Okay, so let's look at it from his perspective, okay? Because dogs, because the predators, they think in terms of predator and prey, right? and safety, fear, dominance, aggression. That's it. Higher. That's all I think. So, if you're saying don't go out the door before me, how do you say to him why he should? I'm trying to build his confidence that he's looking at me and knowing I'm saying it's okay. Yeah, but think about what I'm saying. Yeah. So you're thinking like a human. He needs to know why I shouldn't go through that door first. Not because you're telling him. He needs to feel. What is it, right? Because the way alphas control each other is they tell them what's happening in the environment. So that means when one dog does this, all of them feel it, right? So it has to, he has to feel that something outside of there makes him feel as though he needs to wait for you. That's the, that's, he's not understanding what you're doing. Right. That's I'm the first to admit, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. Just yeah. look at it from the human's part. I want you to stay because I want you to wait for me to go out. And he's saying, why? What reason should I do that? It's like us telling a dog to sit and stay, right? All right, we know why we're doing it, but he doesn't know why he's doing something that he already knows how to do, but would be doing it for a different reason. See, nature tells a dog to sit down for one reason only, because it's the beginning of wrestling. That's the only reason they sit down. Nature says, lie down only because you're resting. From the dog's perspective. Humans say down for many reasons. Right? But the dog says, well, I don't feel that. It's like someone telling you to lie down and you're not tired. Yeah, you talked to me about that before. Okay. Crossing the street. Like, yeah, all that. Making dogs sit at the curb and you're just like, what? <laughs> Anything. Stay, sit, wait, down, heel, sit. All of that is from the human's perspective because they only do it hormonally. And my thought was just like, if he has that impulse to like lunge out the elevator door or lunge out the door because he's like, and he lunges out, yeah. then he has the same instinct to lunge and grab somebody. So that's why I try no, to No, he, he's it. doing it for different reasons, right? The reason to lunge is hormonal and emotional. So we need to know, in order to stop them from doing that physical thing, that's just a symptom. Well, they picked him up as a stray, so my thought was that he kind of, you know, he learned, like, you need to go out and look all around. Well, yeah, yeah, time. I understand. Yeah. But, you know, it's like working with horses uh, when we try to load them in the, in the trailer, and they won't go, and they freeze. Then we have to make them feel uncomfortable here. And the closer they get to the trailer, we take the pressure off, right? So in this instance, he feels the need to rush out, so we need to make him feel that he doesn't want to go out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're we have to produce something that says, I need to wait for you because something happened to me that made me feel insecure, and I need you to make me feel secure before I go out. You know, like so the elevator door opens and he does this. 
right? But if he has that need to rush, and you're saying, no, stay back, you're just producing more of what he wants to do, right. the reason that he wants to do it. Because something is happening here. The correction, or the, the verbalization. And I'm already feeling insecure here, and so you make me feel more insecure here, I just want to be out there. That's how we create fear aggression in dogs. Walking past the fence, we think, oh, they should walk past that fence without lunging at that dog, even though that dog is lunging. Well, the dog says that's not normal. Any dog that runs a street would not walk past that fence with a dog lunging. They'd step out into the street, go around the car, take off running, pick up speed and take off. So we continue to back and forth, back and forth, thinking that we're desensitizing him to that dog, which is something against nature, the way they would think, right? So what happens is nothing actually happens to them, and pretty soon they begin to lunge back to go at that gate. It's like me dropping you off here at the corner, and I say, Krista, meet me at this corner here. And as you start walking down the street, everyone comes out of their house, hollering obscenities at you. Get away from my house. Don't be in front of my house. You bitch, blah, 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 blah. At first you're going to be like, what the heck? You know, and every dog kind of does that at first. And then, if we do it again, the next day, the next day, pretty soon you're like, you know what? This is public property. Screw you. I can walk down the street if I want to. You start barking back. You understand? Yeah. Because nothing physical happened to you to learn that you shouldn't be walking past. Right. That's how they think. All right, so um, let me take him back for a minute. I'll be right back, okay? The who? Scooby. Scooby. Oh, I can't put them with dogs at all. No, no.